हेलो गाइस सो टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कस वन ऑफ द वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन स्पेशली फॉर द एक्सपीरियंस्ड सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर्स मे बी समबडी हु इज गोना जॉइन ए काइंड ऑफ ए लीडिंग पोजीशन देन दे माइट फाइंड सच काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस स्पेशली इन देयर मिडिल राउंड और इन द डिजाइन राउंड सो दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ ए सिचुएशनल क्वेश्चन सो द क्वेश्चन इज How would you tackle the situation if a web application suddenly started responding very slow? So basically, uh, everything in your web application is going fine, but uh, suddenly it has uh, behaving like uh, uh, it is responding uh, to the queries uh, very very slow and uh, not in a very responsive manner, where we have the fear of losing our customers. So how would you tackle this situation? So this is a situational question. So there are few points which I have pointed out here, and uh, these could be the very uh, uh, beneficial for all those guys who gonna face such kind of questions. So let us discuss each one of them. So uh, whenever we see such kind of situation, our very first thing is if everything was going fine and suddenly this uh, change is appeared, then first of all we should look for the recent changes. that what recently went live because it is very very possible that something we made or uh, wrong or maybe some uh, some uh, something which is creating this problem some changes so we have to look for the recent changes so that we can uh, that should be our very first point and then uh, we can uh, go to the logs if we are and uh, finding things so definitely we should go to the logs so logs basically gives us the exact uh, uh, scenario that what actually went wrong so we can go to the logs logs could be like we might use any aws or azure or anything and we would have definitely certain logging system and then we might find some good information about the issue then we can have uh, another thing is is it a hot search that went viral so there could be also a possibility that some of your maybe if you, if the website is kind of uh, certain products suddenly went viral maybe because of certain uh, uh, maybe it was something like uh, you can say some big sale or which is very hyped sale so maybe because of that also uh, or maybe it could be various reason and uh, things suddenly went viral so lot of uh, Uh, users might come so that also could be a scenario when we are suddenly seeing a very huge spike in the number of queries so in such situations we should find uh, whether how we are auto scaling uh, the huge volumes of the requests so uh, that is the another possibility in such situation but there could be also a possibility of dos attack so what is dos attack dos attack is nothing but a denial of service so there could be lot of malicious users who unnecessarily wants to bombard your system with lot of request so that your system would be busy in in entertaining those uh, fake requests and your system might not be available for others so that also could be a possible so for such situations we can maybe we can look for whether we have installed the rate limiters at maybe at server side or not so rate limiters could be a solution for such situations for dos dos attack so rate limiters can be like a it could it could be like bucket uh, sticky bucket based or it could be queue based or it could be like there are a lot of uh, utilities uh, where which can be used uh to limit the uh, number of request per user or maybe per server or maybe region based or ip address based we can uh, limit the rates so that also can be installed then we can have another possibility that are we having good load balancers if we don't have good load balancers let's say we have the traditional load balancers there could be possibility if we suddenly add some more servers or maybe if some servers got lost then our traditional load balancer would not be able to distribute the requests equally so in such situations 
we should make sure that our load balancers are like a either round robin based or they are consistent hashing so consistent hashing uh, works well in such situations when new servers or some servers bent down or some some new one added then we should have like a how our load balancers are so we should have like consistent hashing based load balancer which will try to equally distribute your request among the all servers another thing we have to look is are we having the cache layer to avoid every time a db call so for example if there are lot of requests are there and if we don't have proper cache layer between our application or db layer then this could be a costly operation to hit the db every time and that also could be a reason that our system is going slow and not responding in a better way so that also could be a reason then we have to look look at is there any unnecessarily or you can say less important update sql is running because that also create a problem for example if you are running certain updates in the peak hours when lot of users are also accessing your system then there could be a possibility that your system is behaving slow so you should make sure all these updates or long queries should be run in the off off hours off hours like uh, maybe in the night maybe 3 am in the morning so those kind of uh, queries can be run in such time of off hours and we should avoid running these updates or insert or whatever it is because these will put the lock on the tables which would be create the problem and the overall system would be uh, slow so yeah then we have we, sh we should look the historical data in the our tables so there could be the possibility that in our main tables we have some old data which is of not use as of now so we should always make a theme that uh, after these many days of older data we should not park that data into the main tables it is always better to put that data to the some historical the olap system maybe you you might have some uh, terra data or you could have any hadoop like system so we should always make the historical data to uh, out of from the main rdbms tables to avoid any kind of uh, or delay or any kind of slowness in the overall query fetching system then another thing is if our system is uh, kind of read heavy then uh, we should go for master slave paradigm of our database we should make sure actually because things are suddenly going worst so these things can be definitely taken care in the very start of uh, uh your design part but still we should make sure that we are having master slave paradigm so that the things are uh, uh in a better way because the slaves would be entertain your read queries and in the master you can put the your updates in case if there are any so these are few things there could be a number of things uh, other than these you guys can think of and can definitely put in the comment section about them Thanks for watching this.